Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Order Number no. 21 of 2021, bringing to a close the third session of the fifth legislative term of the Shura and Representatives Councils on May the 11th. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today issued Decree Number no. 59 of 2021, forming the Board of Trustees of the Higher Education Council under the chairmanship of Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi. The panel should comprise the following members for a term of four years: Dr. Sheikh Harana bin Isa bin Taj Al Khalifa as Deputy Chairman, Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Khalid Ibrahim Hamidan, Dr. Khalid Abd Rahman Al Ahli, Hussein Mohammed Rajab, Yusuf Abd Hussein Khalaf, Fatma. Jafar al Sayrafi, Nibras Muhammad Ali Talib, Tarag Muhammad al Sindi, and Dr. Maryam Mustafa Muhammad. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today issued Decree Number no. 60 of 2021, appointing Dr. Sheikh Rana bin Isa bin Daij Al Khalifa as Secretary General of the Higher Educational Council. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today issued Decree No. 61 of 2021. The decree stipulates the establishment of the General Sports Authority, the GSA. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued today Decree No. 62 of 2021 regulating the General Sports Authority, the Directorate of the Legal and Licenses Affairs and Directorate of Monitoring and Auditing shall be affiliated with the Chief Executive. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued today Decree No. 63 of 2021, repealing Clause 5 of Paragraph 4 of Article 1 of Decree No. 17 of 2019, restructuring the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs shall implement the decree. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today issued Decree No. 64 of 2021, restructuring the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, the BTEA, as follows. The Chief Executive Officer with the rank of Under Secretary shall oversee, first, Directorate of Projects and Facilities, second, Directorate of Resources and Information, third, Deputy CEO with the rank of Assistant Under Secretary, responsible for the Directorate of Supervision and Licenses, Directorate of Marketing and Promotion, Royal Decree No. 76 of 2015 on organizing BTEA will be abrogated. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree No. 65 of 2021, appointing Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and Abd Latif Jassim Al Sekran as ambassadors at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today ratified and issued Law No. 10 of 2021, endorsing the Air Services Agreement between Bahrain and Italy. Decree Law No. 3 of 2001 on ratifying the Air Transportation Agreement between Bahrain and Italy shall be abrogated. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued an order to distribute Eid al Fitr gifts to all widows and orphans who are registered with the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF. His Majesty directed the RHF, led by his representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, National Security Advisor, and RHF's Board of Trustees Chairman, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to oversee the distribution of the royal gifts to all beneficiaries. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser extended deepest congratulations to His Majesty on Eid al-Fitr, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless him with abundant health and happiness and to protect Bahrain and its people from all harm. His Highness praised His Majesty's keen interest in the RHF-sponsored families to share with them various occasions including Eid al-Fitr and his directives to provide distinguished services and care for those families to ensure decent living standards for all citizens. RHF Secretary General Dr. Mustafa Sayyid extended congratulations to His Majesty the King and His Highness Sheikh Nasser on Eid al -Fitr. He underscored His Majesty's keenness on providing all kinds of care for all citizens, particularly widows and orphans, citing the constant royal directives to provide them with various services. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, extended thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for establishing the General Sports Authority. His Highness said that this affirms His Majesty's keen interest in supporting Bahraini sports to keep it on par with international developments in the field. He expressed pride in His Majesty's support and the achievements under his leadership on regional and international levels, as well as the 
development of the field in the kingdom on all levels. His Highness also praised the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which had a great impact on the establishment of the General Sports Authority and the further development of the field. He added that Bahraini sports will experience further development under its supervision of the General Sports Authority and concluded that the authority will ensure that the kingdom will become a hub for the field of youth and sports. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and Small and Medium Enterprises Development Council Chairman Zaid Zayani, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs and Chairman of the Hope Fund Ayman Al Muayyad, the CEO of the Economic Development Board Khalid Ahmedan, the CEO of Tim Keen, along with the General Manager of the Hope Fund Fajr Salah Al Pachachi. His Highness emphasized the importance of the concrete of concerted efforts to reach the goals for which the Hope Fund was established, adding that it reflects the support of His Majesty the King for promising youth initiatives and projects. His Highness stressed the importance of investing in the youth as the cornerstone for development. He also underscored the role of the Hope Fund for the Bahraini youth, adding that the Youth and Sports Ministry, the Industry, Commerce and Tourism Ministry and the Bahrain Economic Development Board must unite efforts to support and motivate the youth to launch creative projects and initiatives. His Highness congratulated Fajr Saleh on her appointment and wished her luck in fulfilling her duties. For his part, the Youth and Sports Minister noted that the Hope Fund is keen on implementing the initiatives of His Highness Sheikh Nasser. The General Manager of the Hope Fund gave a presentation of the fund's strategy to attract youth projects and initiatives that are in line with the fund's goals and standards. She also highlighted the fund's aim to cooperate with both the public and private sectors to support the youth in order to develop the fund's resources which will enable it to support youth projects. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Board Chairman of the Oil and Gas Holding Company, Noga Holding, is Anna Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Chief Executive of the Arab Shipbuilding and Repair Yard Company, Asri Mazen Matar. His Highness expressed appreciation of the remarkable efforts of Asri in promoting investments in the oil and gas sector in line with the visions of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the aspirations of His Royal. Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness affirmed the importance of boosting the role of the oil and gas sector in supporting the national economy in line with the Kingdom's economic vision of 2030. He said the efforts of Esri Company will maximize achievements in the two vital sectors. He discussed with the Minister of Oil and Esri Chief Executive various economic and investment issues pertaining to the oil and gas field. He was also briefed about Esri's plans and programs to to further develop the two sectors. For his part, Asri Chief Executive expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his efforts to upgrade the oil and gas sector and enhance the economic momentum, wishing him every success. Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, received General Kenneth F. McKenzie, Jr., Commander of the United States Central Command, Defense Affairs Minister Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan al naimi and BDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagri al naimi were present. The Commander-in-Chief praised the cooperation between Bahrain and the U.S. and the development and growth it is witnessing at all levels, especially in the military field and the continuous coordination in the defense fields. The Representatives Council yesterday held its weekly session remotely presided over by its Speaker Fauzi Zainal. The meeting discussed and approved the final report of the Parliamentary Investigation Committee regarding the standards of housing requests and the cost of building houses units and taking into account the technical conditions in the design of housing units. It also discussed and approved two proposals regarding the government to intensify inspection campaigns and increase control over slaughterhouses to prevent unauthorized random slaughterhouses and take legal measures against them and on the adoption of the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs of an initiative or mechanism to pay off club debts owed to companies and institutions. 
The President of the Supreme Council for Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, inaugurated a comprehensive unit to treat active coronavirus cases at Salmania Medical Complex, run by the Public Hospitals Administration. He praised the continuous support of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister by providing all necessary resources to combat the pandemic. He affirmed during his inspection visit that the inauguration of this unit comes in line with the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to make maintain the isolation and treatment capacity. He affirmed that the Kingdom will continue its relentless efforts at all levels by providing all capabilities and qualified human resources and constructing the necessary medical facilities to limit the spread of the virus. The new unit at Salmania Medical Complex is part of a number of quarantine, isolation and treatment centers paralleled with the intensified testing that the Ministry of Health conducts in various regions of the Kingdom. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, the SCIA, held its session headed by its president, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The meeting expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for receiving the SCIA president and members. The council expressed a pride in meeting His Majesty and His Majesty's pride and appreciation of the role of the council and religious scholars in serving Islam and defending Islamic affairs. The council commended what was affirmed by His Majesty the King that Bahrain is proceeding to spread and consolidate principles of Islam which are based on tolerance, peace and coexistence, noting that His Majesty's wise directives on the advent of the last 10 days of Ramadan, the Council congratulated His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Prime Minister, the Government and the people of Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations. The Council also welcomed the royal directives to open mosques for all daily prayers, Friday prayers and Taraweeh prayers at the beginning of the Holy Month. The Council then discussed the topics listed on the agenda and took the necessary actions in this regard. The Ministry of Health launched a new electronic service to report side effects that might occur after taking the coronavirus vaccine on the website www.healthalert.gov.bh, which is designated for the latest coronavirus health updates in the Kingdom. The Ministry affirmed that it continues to develop its services to combat the pandemic to ensure the safety of the community. The website, which will appear on screen, requires the CPR number, identification information about the case such as the time and type of vaccine, in addition to the side effects such as fever or allergy. The medication used will also be required to complete the application. The ministry urges all those who receive the vaccine and exhibit any side effects to visit the website and register their personal information and submit any inquiries regarding the service. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 747,409 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 554,364 had taken the second. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 11,366 with 978 recoveries, 1,418 registered new cases and two deaths. 526 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 870 are contacts of active cases and 22 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.